to pray for adoration and profession and thanksgiving and supplication. Yeah. We're inviting you all to come yeah. in the name of Jesus. The word said for the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. I want to share with you Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being. A living soul. Yeah. Church, we were made from a lump of dirt. Yeah. There's dust, as the Bible says. Oh, yeah. But it's what God did after that fact yes. that made us yeah. alive. Yeah. It made us his yeah. masterpiece. Yeah. He breathed into man's nostril life. Uh -huh. The breath of life and man became a living being. Yeah. You know, when God created the moon, the sun, and the animals, he simply spoke them into That's being. Right. But with us, he formed us. We are his workmanship. We are his masterpiece. We are in our work. He created us and we are the master's piece. We are his masterpiece. And though we were made from dirt, we're priceless to God. You need to pour your praises into this into him, church, because it's his breath that's in your lungs. And a side note to that is that God could have used anything. He could have used a stone or a rock, but he chose to use dirt. And that's a form of lowliness, a form of humility. So what is a masterpiece? Ephesians 2.10 says, for we are his workmanship. So a masterpiece is you. You are his masterpiece. You are his workmanship. You are his jewel. You are of notable excellence. You are his show prize. You are extraordinary to God. Yeah. You are somebody to have yeah. all his That's who you are to Christ. And he wants his masterpiece to do good works. He has deposited some good stuff in us. So we need to use our spiritual gifts to do the good works. You got to know who you are in Christ. Yeah. It's not a sunset. It's not the stars. It's not an ocean scene. It's not the spectacular mountains that you saw on vacations, was to be. But God's greatest worship is you. You are his masterpiece. You got to see him. You got to see yourself as God sees you. You got to know who you are in Christ. Because when you know that you know that you know. And when you know who you are in Christ, you'll be a better Christian. When you know who you are in Christ, you'll be a better usher. When you know who you are in Christ, you'll be a better deacon. You'll be a better vocalist in the name of Jesus. Oh, to God be the glory because we serve a mighty and a wonderful God. Look at the canvas of your life. You got some crooked lines. The canvas may be dirty. It may be incomplete. But you're still God's masterpiece. In spite of all the ways that you have misbehaved, you're still his workmanship. Yeah. You're still God's masterpiece. Yeah. You may say, well, my life is so messed up, so dirty because of the things that I'm do I've done. You're still his masterpiece. Yeah. Satan has tripped us up a couple of times, but it doesn't mean that we have lost the worth of God because you're still his workmanship. Yeah. Ladies, we come up in here looking all nice and fine. Hair done, nails done, toes done, yes, extensions in our hair, feet, <laughs> suits fitting fine, and we all messed up and jacked up all in the inside. Uh, yes, oh, but yes. well, we may need a little cleaning up, but the God that I serve, yes, he's yes. a forgiving God. Yes. The God that I serve, he will do. The God that I serve, he will do. The God that I serve, he will make us whole again yes. because you are still his masterpiece. Yes. And I, I need you to listen to this. It don't stop being a masterpiece because it's dirty. That's right. It's a masterpiece because who created you? Yeah. Yeah. Our Lord and Savior, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. So we come in here to give him glory yeah. and to give him honor and praise. Yeah. He loves you because you are his workmanship. Yeah. You are his masterpiece. Thank you. you are his jewel. Yeah. You are somebody to him. Thank you, Lord. What about my past? You're still God's masterpiece. Yeah. Body aging. Storms in your life raging. My You're still his workmanship. Yeah. He created you with a mission in mind. Use those spiritual gifts because you are the master's peace. Yeah. You got to let the devil know who you are in Christ. Yeah. You got to let the devil know that this is God's property yeah. and that you are his workmanship. Yeah. Also, in conclusion, I want y'all to remember who you are in Christ. You are God's workmanship. Yeah. God used the dust from the ground 
mm -hmm. and breathed life into his nostrils yeah. and created the greatest masterpiece. Mm -hmm. And that was you. Mm -hmm. I know you may not feel like a masterpiece, mm -hmm. but you're still his masterpiece. I know you may not look like a masterpiece, but you are his masterpiece. Oh, yeah. Through the hurt, the heartache, the pain, the suffering, you're still his masterpiece. Amen. You don't always get it right, but God loves his workmanship, Amen. and you're still his masterpiece. Amen. In the midst of the storm, oh, yeah. when you want to jump ship, Sister Andrews, you're still God's masterpiece. Amen. When it's been too long, Sister Cooper, you're still God's masterpiece. Yeah. When it don't make sense, Ella Plum, God. you're still God's yeah. masterpiece. And I remember Pastor Preach, he said, I made me little, but I am somebody. Yes, somebody is a Jew. Yes, somebody is a master. Yes, somebody is a Jew. Yes, somebody is a master. Yes, somebody is a master. Yes, somebody is a master. He is. We are his masterpiece. And if we don't get anything from what I've said today, I want you to remember that no matter what you're going through in your life, you are still God's masterpiece. Thank you.